Jeremiah Sabalos didn't have any comments from him, but he did make his RSA de debut, excuse me, in the last case series with a win. Looking to add another one to the tool belt. This one at a much more kind of intimate environment in an intimate kind of arena a venue than the Melrose Ballroom. And you see he's getting a warm reaction from a hometown fan contingency he has here in the crowd. You talk about one of those guys that has a great gas tank. Glory MMA is known to be able to push the pace in a fight. We saw it earlier with Anaya, and you see it with so many. I mean, Jordan Bartlett, MD Hawk. I mean, there's a slate of athletes there that all push each other past the breaking point a lot of times. And it comes out fight night. Another staple of Glory MMA is their great boxing. They're very pressure heavy, so expect him to be pushing a pace that's devilish and really putting leather in his opponent's face. Manuel Nunez, amateur MMA fighter, coming in at one and one out of Animals MMA. Edgar as well, head gear, excuse me, as well for both. We reached out to him for comment, but he didn't really give us anything to work with, so not much is known about him. It's hard to find information about him online. So we will see what are his tendencies, what he likes to get up to in there. Largely unknown, and it makes you wonder if his opponent was able to find anything on him. We have yet to see. As he walks his way up to the cage, we throw it over now to Mike Falvo to start this one off. The action continues on the card for RFC Promotions with our upcoming contest, a Muay Thai contest scheduled for three two-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, representing Glory, Mixed Martial Arts, Jeremy Sabalos. And his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the right corner, representing Animals, Mixed Martial Arts, Emmanuel Nunez. JP Zuniga gets a nod for this one. Three two minute rounds of Muay Thai. And so the largely unknown, or should I say, the largely enigmatic Emmanuel Nunez faces off against Sabalos. Big spinning back kick off the bat. Nice knees in the clinch by Sabalos. Sabalos. Oh, and showmanship. Nunez feeling himself. Certainly brimming with confidence early. Oh, big one two dropped in by Sabalos. Trying to create space, goes for a spinning back kick. Too little space to do so, though. Bios just staying measured. <laughs> Trying to find his shots. Finding success with that hook. 
A little bit of a messy clinch there. Corner of Nunez calling for him to be first. And Spires is starting to connect with some huge shots here. 36 seconds left. Spires again finishing a lot of the, these combinations off. Not necessarily the first man to throw, but certainly the last. And not as much of the brass showmanship as we saw before from Nunez. As so we head into round number two. So Ceballos fighting on brand for Glory MMA. Fantastic boxing, again, not afraid to push a pace. Nunez bringing an interesting brand of fighting in there. Very wide, open hips. Seemingly almost like a karate background or something along those lines, maybe Taekwondo. Hard to say, again, it was, uh, usually I'm able to find something on guys. Nunez, I, I spent about 30 or 45 minutes. I couldn't find a thing. Second round of three coming up now at the GAA. Nice shots early by Nunez. Ceballos trying for a head kick upstairs. Oh, both men connecting flush. And that's a huge push kick by Ceballos. But he's, he's landing these, when the, the fight gets out of the pocket, he's just connecting on the end of those punches. That's why Nunez isn't able to see those coming. Ceballos is kind of looping his punches in. Ooh, both men connect flush. Not a man breathing particularly hard. And this is probably much more of a sustainable pace for three rounds. Whoa! You can't say that Nunez isn't flashy. and drops it a nice cross as well. Whoa. And the technicality of both men shining through now that the pace has slowed a bit. Nunez trying to find his flow state. Spires a little bit of dirty boxing there in the clinch. Drops in a nice leg kick, follows it upstairs with the boxing. Ten seconds left, round number two. And blows exchanged at the end of round number two. Got a third and final coming up. Up next, we've got Jaden Allier versus Hal El Gallo Zanone. At 205 pounds, MMA 3x3. Three three. Both guys with potential to finish a fight at any moment. That's going to be a fun one. But for now, we do still have this third and final. And it's interesting. Both men have had their moments. It's been a competitive fight.
stay for this third round. Nunez just needs to get a little bit more respect back from Ceballos. Ceballos has been pressuring. The more confident he grows, the more he's going to throw. Touch of gloves as we get into the third and final round for this one. Oh, nice one, two by Nunez. Ceballos coming forward. Oh, a nice outside trip by Nunez. <laughs> You're letting him know it's not MMA, it's Muay Thai. Oh! And a nice knee on the break there by Ceballos. Complaining about the clinching. Ceballos lands that big hook yet again. It's been one of those shots that he puts the most behind. Nunez gets his hand up for the head kick there. Drops one of his own in. Minute left. Nunez with a nice cross. Is Nunez going to call time? Is he going to take a point? That he is. Yep. So that changes the course of this fight. Most certainly. Which means most likely Nunez needs to finish here. Last 30 seconds. Great boxing for both men. Side kick by Nunez, caught by Ceballos. Big shots by Nunez. And this fight towards the end has just gotten a little bit messy. There's no other way to say it. Clinch between the two, and that will do it for your Muay Thai bout. So interesting by Nunez, certainly a showman, but a lot of the stuff he did in there you could not do in a Muay Thai contest. And the credit has to go to JP for running a tight ship, but also not getting in the way of the fight, letting it breathe. Why he's absolutely one of the best in the game. So we're going to get the judges' scorecards in a second. We'll throw it over to Mike Falvo as always. Still a decent bit of real estate left to go here tonight. Our scorecards are in. Let's throw it over to Falvo in the cage. And after three hard fought rounds, we go to the official scorecard. All three judges have scored the fight 30-26 for your winner by way of unanimous decision, Jeremy Ceballos. Jeremy Ceballos gets it done. Despite the unorthodox nature of Nunez, which cannot be understated, a very, very tough opponent to find combinations against, especially with the way he throws and what he does. Coming up next, Jaden Allier, Hal Elgallo Zanone. 